is up welcome back design squad and in this actual noob master series video i'm gonna address one of your comments or one of the requests from one of the viewer stanislav and he's saying hey how would you do something like this and let me show you what he meant as you can see it showcases a complex slider which basically has multiple items in it it restricts the sliding effect to just a specific item at a time and you can slide any way you wish and you can basically I guess add to shopping cart or something like that I don't really you know understand it well but basically he's saying how would you do this I have a few ideas we could just move the thing in dynamic panel sideways left to right let's say depending on what the user triggers it's definitely gonna work is it gonna work well is a question but it's gonna be an experiment from my end and how I would solve this issue let's say so let's jump into it i just adapted the mock-up from iampatrick.com a designer who submitted it to sketch app sources so if you want to get really quick mock-up you can just go to sketch app sources and just download it from there let me just transfer a few bits and we can start <music> And I'm immediately transferring the information and making dynamic panels out of it like this, for example. And I'm just going to give names like, let's say this is going to be D or let's say card one for the sake of it. So I have six cards on my screen. We're going to need to restrict it to what we show, right? So right off the bat, I'm going to select all of them. And as you can see, all of them have a name. That's quite important here. One thing to note out before we wrap it is just note down what's the width of your one item. In this case, it's 235 pixels, let's say 235. And I'm just going to wrap it in dynamic panel. And let's call it, let's say content or something like that. And now here we are going to add another dynamic panel, which let's say it's going to be a wrapper for a wrapper. And let's call this, let's say container, because then we can resize the outer layer and not affect how it looks like. So let's say here, I'm going to restrict it to imagine, I don't know, the three items like so. And if I go inside, as you can see, I'm going to have link like a window where I can place the item. So I'm just going to do this. Let's say I can see the boundaries with the dotted lines and here is where our thing is going to live now because we know exactly how much of a width we have to move one item or the other whichever way which is 235 pixels all we have to do now is just add controls and for that i'm just going to use really quickly now project and just look for chevron let's say let me pick a random shade very minimal very quick you know you can spend time if you want to on it uh, and you should just so it looks great and you're happy with it and the sizing of it maybe center it a little bit something like so and i'm gonna have two controls and again play with the details details do matter in the end if you have time now you can just add the actual interaction to the thing i like to use hotspots just because it's fail proof and you can define how big is the touch area to this i'm going to add an interaction that's very important to note that on click let's say we are gonna move the panel but the question is which one and now in my idea is that we're not going to move the outer layer container we're going to move the content which has six of them right so i'm gonna just select content and here you're gonna see we're gonna move it by or two but we should leave it at by because we're gonna either decrease 235 or increase 235 on an x-axis because it's basically horizontally right so if we go to the left we want to push it one to the left so i'm just gonna do minus 235 and i can also animate so let's do ease in and out for whatever reason and maybe add a second or so it's very very generous but let's see how that would work let's see if that works like i intended boom it does work and if i go i can just go as many as but keep in mind that if you want to be continuous you need to add more items to it or you could also split it in different dynamic panels and then move the last dynamic panel to the end but then you need to know dimensions and where it, the coordinates where it has to go basically but besides that you know you can explore experiment do it on your own what i would do just to finish off a prototype this proof of concept so to speak i'm just gonna paste this and just invert the direction here so all we have to do is just add 235 pixels if we move to the right and let me just test it out if that works as well. 
Um, if I move it to the left, it does. I can go back as many steps as I want. It's just going to move one item at a time. And that's basically covers the case Stanislav asked about, hey, how can we solve this? And this is exactly how I would solve it. It's very easy and it takes just a few minutes and the performance is pretty good as well. All you have to do is just integrate in your existing prototype. If you have any other ways to solve this or to achieve that specific use case, leave a comment down below. I would like to hear that and I'm sure everybody else would as well. So thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe, and as per usual, stay tuned for more material and I'll see you next time.